within this lesson will determine whether a whole number is a multiple of another number. Let's count by fives. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Count with me. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. What do you notice? Did you say something about the ones place? Looks like the ones place in each of these numbers is either a 0 or a 5. Do you notice any other patterns? When we skip count by a whole number, the numbers that we say are called multiples. So these numbers right here are some of those multiples of 5. The next question that I want you to consider is, are multiples different than factors? Well, let's think. What are the factors of 8? Well, every number is 1 in itself. We also can multiply 2 and 4 to be able to get 8. Therefore, the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. There are only 4 factors of 8. Okay, let's think of the multiples of 8. Well, to get the multiples of 8, we count by 8s. See, 0, 8, then what? All right, 16, then 24, then 32, then 40, 48. Wait a second, with our multiples of 8, what happens? <laughs> Looks like we can go on and on and on. They can go forever and ever. I guess we could say there's an infinite numbers of multiples of 8. So remember, there is a difference between factors and multiples. Those two terms are oftentimes confused. Here are some other types of problems we might see. It says use division or the associative property to solve. Is 18 a multiple of 6? Well, let's see. We'll use division, and we take 18. Can we divide it by 6? Will it go in evenly without a remainder? Well, we can count 6, 12, then 18. And we know that 18 divided by 6 does equal 3. So we can answer this question, yes, 18 is a multiple of 6. The next one says, is 54 a multiple of 8? Well, let's use the associative property to solve. So I think of a fact for the associative property that does equal 54. And in this case, I can go 54 equaling 9 times 6. I know that 9 times 6 does equal 54. Then I can continue to write this, where it is still 54, equaling, and I can break apart 9 into 3 times 3, and I can break apart 6 into 2 times 3. Next, I'm looking to see whether or not that I can get 8 by associating any of these numbers. Well, let's see, 3 times 2 would be 6, so that would I couldn't associate those two. 3 times 3 would be 9. No, I can't associate those two either to do anything. Therefore, 54 is not a multiple of 8. It would be a multiple of 9, of 6, and also, let's see, I think those are the only two. Well, we'd also have 3 times 3 times 2, which would be 18. 3 times 3 times 3, which would be 27. We have a number of those that it would be a multiple of, but not 8. 
Let's do this again. For 92, would it be a multiple of 4? Well, let's break it down into the easiest one to think of. That would be 2 times 46. If you don't know that that's 46 with half of the number, you would have to take 92 and divide it by 2. But I guess if we were really going to do that, then we probably would just divide 92 by 4 to see whether or not that it is a multiple. And I will do that step in a second. So it's actually 92 is equal to 2, and 46 being an even number, it's 2 times 23. Then we can associate the 2 times 2 so that we know by evaluating that 4 times 23 does give us 92. When we divide, 4 goes into 9 2 whole times. 2 times 4 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. And we bring down the 2 for 12. 12 once divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. And 12 minus 12 is 0. Therefore, since it does go in evenly, it is a multiple of 4. 92 is a multiple of 4. So that's how we check to see if a number is a multiple of another number. Here's one for you to try. It says to write the multiples of 4 starting with 32. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to write as many as you can. Ready, set, go. Don't pause the video, I'm counting the 30 seconds. Keep going. What number did you get to? Did you get all the way to 72 or more? We'd have 76 or even 80 as a multiple of 4. Yep, 80 divided by 4 is 20. And we can even go even further. Those are multiples of 32 where we're starting with 32. Let's do one last problem here. It says to list the numbers that have 20 as a multiple. Well, I know that it'd be 1 because I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 until I get to 20. How about 2? Yeah, because 2 times what? Oh, 2 times 10 is 20. So 2 also could have a multiple of 20. And then so we also do what? 3? Nope. We'd have 4 and 5. These are numbers that have 20 as a multiple. How about 6? Nope. 7? 7, 14, 21. Nope. How about 8? 8, 16, 24. Nope. 9? 9, 18, 27. Nope. <laughs> We're over 20. That's why. 10? Yep. 10, 20. Hey, look. When we list the numbers that have 20 as a multiple, guess what? These are the factors of 20. We'd also have 20 as well. 20 times 1 is 20. So when it says this problem here, list the numbers that have 20 as a multiple, we'd have that there. Please be very careful with understanding what a multiple is.